What's up guys, it's Andy again with Solu Productions here with the final round of the 2022 Discraft Big Rip Classic presented by Ledgestone Open. I am here with Todd Bryant. This has been a good tournament so far and I'm really looking forward to this final round. Yeah, me too. Before we get moving on, uh, well here's our, our card, Chad, Chris, Jonathan, Thunder. But big shout out to Michael Munn, the tournament director here. Always doing great things for the sport, but this tournament especially, uh, it couldn't be better. And we are thrilled to be here once again. But moving on to hole number one, 310 feet, one of the easier holes of the tournament. We will see uh, probably some forehands. We saw a couple backhands in round two. Yep. It's, I mean, it's a pretty forehand friendly hole, but just yeah, as, yeah. just as you say that, our leader says, I'm gonna throw a back in and he turns around. That's going to be parked. <laughs> and I'm going to park it. Yep. So this is really a backhand turnover hole. Right. That's what I was saying. <laughs> Oh, actually got a little hop there. Yeah, uh, just a notch outside circle, but that was a good shot. So Jonathan Fletcher here, uh, one of the newcomers to the card here on the lead card for the final round. Also going back in, like we said should happen. <laughs> Jonathan is a really good player uh, out of Nebraska, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Thunder as well, newcomer to this tournament's card for us, but have filmed him before. Also a, another great player. I'm going to go out on a limb and say best mustache in the tournament. Ooh. And best shot on this hole. Yeah. Wow, that was yeah. great. Best mustache and hat. Just the whole combo. But if you can putt like that, it doesn't really matter where you put it. Yeah. Really good to see that starting off your final round when you're pretty much in a hunt with one other person. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, uh, Jonathan and, and Thunder have had a great tournament so far, but they have a ton of ground to make up. It's a, it's a two man race at this point. Yeah, unless something you know, it's going to take something major happening. Right, and there are a few holes here on the front nine that that have teeth. I mean, one of our hardest holes on the course is there, which is number six. So there are chances early on, but when you're five, six strokes back, you have to hit those from the gate you do yep great little star frame there here's a here's a hole that we've seen people have some trouble with uh you know it takes just a little bit of turn and then some pretty good fade it's almost a little flex and if you get caught up on the left or right side it is jail yeah that we've seen it now in both rounds and it's just no fun no if, if you get in there five feet you know, just getting out is good. Chad throwing the same same disc he threw in round two. A little bit better of a result, but... Great shot. Yep, looking at his two. Great shot. This is looking really nice. Not quite as, as far, maybe less ground play, but also a great shot. That's a good result, especially from everything we've seen on this hole. Ooh, that needs a turn. And it did. Yeah. It's a little outside circle, but when he let go of that, I know he's looking at that tree on the corner there. Yeah. Thunder put some pop on that one. Oh, well, I th I, oh, he's still he's on the edge though. He's he's fine. Yeah, I think he's got a little lane. Get it. Mm. Oh wow, just over the top. Gave it a scare. That was a good run from where he was. Wow, <laughs> that was in the heart. That was a that was what fifty feet uphill with a tree that he had to just barely miss. That was a great putt. Yeah, it was. 
Yeah, it was just a solid drive and a pretty routine putt. So we're about to see three twos here. Oh, absolutely. It, this is the best we've seen this hole played, mm -hmm. for sure. It's not the distance. It's the little tight fairway. Yeah. All right, so 18s, 13 and 11. Moving on to hole number three. Easiest shot in disc golf, as you said, <laughs> one or dead, two rounds ago. Dead straight. Uh, the, the play here, honestly, if you've got a flip up shot, that, that might be it. We've even seen some guys hug the right side and hyzer out a little bit. As long as you miss those first handful of trees, I think you're able to stomach it. Right, that's right. If you if you get down there inside the circle, you have thrown a really good shot. Yeah. We've seen a few of them. We've also seen that tree hit multiple times. It, it, there's just something about it. Yeah. I think you're trying not to pu over pull it into the right, and you just it, it's just an early release. This is not an early release. No, it is not. That is an amazing shot. Yeah. This looks mighty good too. And it is. Yeah. yeah. Fletcher's playing some good some good golf here off the start, so forehand shot up. That. Wow. I haven't seen that. Oh wow. Right over there. Just Yep. The way to play this shot is a flex <laughs> forehand that hits the tree and rolls back under the basket. That's the way to do it. Great shot, Thunder Schultz. Yeah. I love Thunder's run up. Uh, he he's he's got a, a unique approach to throwing the disc, and it's it's uh, it's it it's, gets you excited a little bit to watch him throw. Yeah, it does. It's very unique. It's real uh, kind of technical. You can see it's technical to him. Right. Yeah. Oh. He'd like to have that back. Yeah, he would. He didn't really get much pop there. Good putt there. Yes. Chris is, is filling the putter. He'd love he would have loved to have the two, but three on this hole is not terrible. No. Nope. We didn't see any numbers here, which is a good thing. It is. There there are some numbers. I can guarantee it on uh, some other cards. Yeah, especially when somebody hits one of those early trees. Yeah. <laughs> So going into hole number four, par three, 321 feet. Once again, it's a forehand shot until it isn't, and it's a backhand shot. That's until, right. Until That's right. Isn't. But those trees there in the middle are pretty much your two things to miss besides keeping it you know, inside the tree lines. Uh, but the green does narrow towards the end, so the closer you get to the basket, the Really, the, the tougher it is to keep it in the fairway. Right. Yeah, I think we'll see, I'm guessing, three backhands and a forehand. Hmm, that was close. That was not a bad shot. It was a bad kick. This is the forehand. This I expected this. <sighs> yeah, just a touch more. This looks good. That that is beautiful. That was a great shot. Yep. Yep. Three backhands and a forehand. Turn. Miss, miss the tree. That's that'll do. Yeah. There. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a good shot. Yeah. He'll have some some twigs in his way. I'm sure. He's right there on the edge. Well, you hate to see thunder here because he threw a good shot and just he just hit a tree. But I'm, I'm going to give him that. Yeah. I didn't realize this kicked this far or this deep. Yeah, it sure did. Yeah. 
and from one to the other. Man, th these th these are important strokes uh, right here. Yeah, they are. This is not what he wanted. Yeah, that's that's smart. Yeah, that so he's gonna have to settle with really two strokes. Honestly, yep. Chad's sitting there twenty feet. Great putt. It was, especially after the last hole. That was a, that was a solid dead center putt. Jonathan's a good player. Yeah. Yeah, two-stroke swing there. Probably not expected on the tee box. Mm -mm. So moving on to hole number five, Chad will now have a one-stroke lead. Jonathan's kind of hanging in there. So he we'll is, So we'll see if yeah. he's got some... Some more uh, juice, I guess. Right here's a hole where there can be a big swing one way or the other. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, this one, uh, this one can go downhill in a hurry. Yeah, if you hit an early tree and you go left or right, a par is like best case scenario. Yeah. And honestly, if you can just get into this area. I guess after your second shot, it doesn't matter where your first shot is. If you can just get onto that flat ground up there, you give your, uh, yourself a chance at a four. You can just throw it 100 feet right here if you needed to. It doesn't make your second shot easier, but. That's gonna be tough. Yeah. Ooh, that was, did that go right of the tree? It did, and then came straight back left. Thunder went per, on purpose Way right. right of the tree. <laughs> Way right. Yeah, he, he meant to do that, though. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't think Chris meant to do that. No, I'm pretty sure uh, we're not going to see a birdie on this hole. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that. Are you a betting man? Well, I can be if you want to bet on it. <laughs> well, he got further. He did. I don't know. I mean, he's on the other side of that tree line. Yeah. I don't know what that's going to look like over there. I didn't realize Jonathan got over to this side, and he's got a window. Hmm. If he didn't kick that first tree, that actually was looking really nice. Yeah, he... he I mean, there's just a lot of trees. Yeah, there's not much from from over here, I don't think. No, I don't, I don't think this is an intended. Oh, you throw it through that gap over there. Right, yeah. Missed, <laughs> yeah. Missed the trees over there on the left. That worked out. This is, <laughs> I, I, I said there could be a swing. There may not be a swing because nobody's really playing the hole very well. Yeah, what's funny is we've been, we've been talking up this hole like it's really hard in the first two rounds, and they've played it so well. They have, yeah. Uh, it's, it's just unleashing oh. here. Right, so that's yeah. for bogey, right? Yeah. I think that's for bogey. Are we gonna see? Are we gonna see? A, there's no par here unless a long putt's made, right? I, uh, maybe, no, I think that's Chad's. That was Chad's third. Oh, was it okay? Yeah, because his out, his pitch out. That's right. Yeah. Kind of got a long way. Yes, yeah, so I think Chad will have it. Jonathan would need to make that. Oh, oh, wow. That was close. Really good look. Yep. And par on this hole is strokes. Mm -hmm. On this card and on other players on other cards. Yep.
You can see some not too excited faces, but yeah, that Chad had the four, three fives. Could have been worse. It could have been. It felt worse, honestly. It did. <laughs> <laughs> Going into to number six, par four, four oh five. Uh, will we see somebody get really aggressive here in the in the final round? Well, I mean, this is the time. Uh, you got one guy out in uh, you know in the lead by a couple of strokes. It, it, this is a great time to because it. You, they can all throw 405 feet. It, that, that's not the issue. Right. The issue is the disc has to fly through a fairway that feels like it's about two feet wide. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and the, the other side of that, I couldn't fault somebody for just playing it extremely safe, just not to take a super high number. You're just, you know you're not going to gain any strokes. No. But, well, it... If you if you take a four, you you could gain strokes. If yeah. you know, see that that's not a great place to be. Now he's halfway down the fairway though. Right. That's cooking. Oh man, that was a that was a good shot. And and I mean, he's got a par for sure. But if he can lean out. That was a good roll. Out. Yeah, decent yeah. little kick. But yeah, Fletcher's shot, if it flexed at all, I mean, he's he was looking towards the green. Oh, no. Mm, that's not good. No, that's it, – it actually didn't go as deep as I thought it did. No, it didn't. But when you're throwing a roller on this hole, it's not what you want to be throwing. <laughs> right. But he, he progressed up the fairway quite a ways. Yeah, neither of these guys are as far in as I thought. I do not envy this shot. But he did it well. That's going to be That's going to be a tight little putt. Yeah, he's in he's well inside circle, I think. It's just he's going to be 2 feet inside that. Great. Yeah, Great shot. Jonathan was in a lot better shape than we even thought. Yeah, he was. He's going to have that for a 3. He is. Yeah. I'm going to give that to him. He's got to put it in. He <laughs> he does. <laughs> All right. He did put it in and we we almost missed it, but just a little quick tap. Oh goodness. I knew there was he was just in there deep enough to have some problems. Yeah. Yeah, I think he messed around with a couple different stances. It was it was pretty thick. I'd really like to see him be able to pick up this birdie right here. Mm hmm Yep. He played the hole really well. Yes he did. Yeah, big three. I tell you. That's a great putt there from Thunder. Yeah, Thunder didn't really have anything there either. He just <laughs> made something. That was a great putt. It just kind of came out of the woods and went in the basket. Take us on to hole seven. Life changes right here. Yep. They've been in the woods. They've not really had to struggle with wind a lot, and they are about to see a complete change. This is... It looks like a really straightforward hole, and we've found out thus far that it is just not. <laughs> uh, you get out here, you're not used to the wind, you throw a little bit of angle, and you know you end up 40 feet left or you know 30 feet long, and you're putting a death putt. <laughs> Neither of those are that exciting. No, they are not. So after, yeah. after playing that previous hole so well, <laughs> Jonathan now is in the position where he gets to test the wind out. <laughs> what a reward. Doesn't like it. And I, and I know he's frustrated, but that's what we've seen in every round. Yeah.
this looks like a better angle. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, it, it was a better angle, <laughs> yeah. for sure. Yeah, we, we've seen just about everybody just let go of it earlier, put it on a hyzer early. Chad really, well, and Thunder, those are both yeah, on a much a better line. Great shot. Kind of doing, correcting that mistake. That's left, I think. These two are probably, laying, or he may be going for it. He's got to lay this up. Wow. Not a layup. It was not a layup. And uh, he's put himself in a very tough situation. Yeah. Almost where you don't want to lay up because you, now it's for par. Mm hmm. Yeah, that. That is the big thing with this hole. It is all pointed towards the screen. Fantastic. That was a, that was a good two. That was a great putt right there. Yeah, that's so hard. Headwind coming in over the hill. And you're already putting it up. Yeah, I mean, just, you know, you haven't been putting really in a lot of wind. You step out here, and it's blowing. Yeah. Yeah, he's running this. I do not envy this right here. Mm -mm. So you're running this now, right? I mean, <laughs> you, you have just, to, right? You just committed. Yeah. Please sit. Okay. It was a good putt. It was a good putt. Yeah, I, I think, I just really think that's a putt from where he was. And I understand, you know, he's he's chasing guys, so he wants to get a stroke. Yeah, yeah. But I just don't know that that was the place to get it. Yeah, I think you're right. I think part of it was knowing that Chad's sitting right there. Like I say, I understand the mentality. You know, there's, yeah, I'm a, with there's, you. there's a limited amount of, of holes left. Uh, you know, he's he's the guy chasing, and and he's a confident putter and a good putter. Mm -hmm. So I don't I don't blame him. But yeah, he the negative effect of that just happened though. Right, it did. Yeah. If it doesn't pay off, you, you almost take yourself out of it. Yeah, and, and I think in wind especially. Here's a good place though that he could come back. This is a you know, it's a downhill hyzer shot that most of these guys should be able to put inside the circle somewhere, mm. I think. Yeah. The wind is really the only factor that changes the hole a little bit. Yeah, and we've seen it a couple times now. Just lift the disc probably a little more than they expected, and that's what carried out of bounds. It is, yeah, long. Smooth looking throw. Yeah, good result. Inside circle. Man, if you don't like to watch Thunder throw a disc, you're, just, you're just not a disc golf fan, right? <laughs> sit down, wrong. sit. Mm. Oh no. That was zooming. It was. It's strange because on, on this on this green, sometimes disc will dig. And then sometimes they skip. It, it, yeah, it's very hard to predict. It is. I, I feel like they're all throwing a similar disc. Nice that shot. Good. Yeah, good shot. Nobody is going to have a comfortable putt. I look comfortable. That was big time. Man, how do you put towards the OB <laughs> in the wind? That's, and I mean, there was never a doubt about that putt. No, it was perfect. Make it two for two? Yeah. Very opposite putting styles, too. Chris is more of the on a rope. Chad's more touchy. Yeah, I, don't, I think Chad knows his is not going OB if he misses. Wow. Great, great putt. And, and, and see, Jonathan is a great putter. That's why he has no problem running the putt on the last hole. Right. 
Yeah. Is Good, Thunder, uh, is Thunder safe? No, oh. no, he was out. Well, I thought so. Just the way the camera looks. Yeah, it was, it was a good comeback save. It looks like he's still standing behind the white stakes, but yeah. I, I guess he's not. That was a kind of a putting clinic there on its own. A big putt there for Jonathan after after hole seven to oh, get, for sure. get the confidence back. So going on to number nine, 354 feet. Once again, I mean, we're just going to hope that the, that the the good drives stick. And if not, you know you're going to have yourself a, a circle's edge or outside the circle putt. Yeah, this is this is a hole where you can throw a great drive and end up 50 feet away putting back up hills. So. Now sit. See, that's that's a great drive. Yeah. Listen to the difference of the the wind from up top to down to the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. I like the low line, but I think he's going to hit early. Yeah. Yeah, and that may just be his play. He did that in round two. Or maybe he's thinking it's going to live some more and it's not. This looks good. Sit. Sit. How is it rolling mm. through that right there? You, you would expect that grass to catch it. But he ended up, I think, circle's edge, maybe inside a little bit. Yeah, that's where uh, Terrence Ivory hit his round one. Really good putt. Yeah, I'm going to give me a shirt that says putt like Terrence. <laughs> Thunder plays it towards the low side and still catches a little roll. Oh, absolutely. Sit down. Oh, no. <laughs> you just, you could feel it. It was just about to happen. Yeah. That's what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. That's, that's the MA40 play right there. Yeah. And it's the right play. And it's the MPO leader play. I guarantee it. <laughs> It's the MPO leader play, but it's it's what we do all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sit. Don't roll. Okay, that's mm. good. That's good. Yeah, good run. Just barely low. That was a good putt. Yeah, it was. That was a little more than he was wanting. Yeah, it was. I know I said that twice in a row, but... <laughs> it was. Well, you know, if you're right, you're right. Exactly. Good comeback. It was. Three times. I think Thunder's got this one. Yep. It's going to give us a star frame. Yeah, and you know, that's th three is a good score there. Uh, making a disc sit there is is tough. Man, this is going to be such a fun yeah. ending. Uh, there's a lot that can happen on the back of this course. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and just the amount of OB by itself, not to mention the type of holes they are, just presents a lot of uh, a lot of chances for the guys that are trying to catch up. I am looking forward to it. Yeah. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.